guys it's a 5 p.m. today is August 25th today is Thursday uh, before tomorrow's Powell speech and whatever the outcome from this meeting okay so today again same old story of blue lines preferred and backup buyers area and backup sellers area preferred sellers area you know all these levels but today buyers have some age above 975 9 in NQ and ES above 41 25 33 and 43 right so today's low was right around this area so bias defended it right that was the first sign that they have an edge you know because they were holding it right then we had a breakout about 13,017 that was the level I gave it in the pre-market voice right that look for breakout above that area for bias to confirm and for ES, I said 62 or 64, one of the level, and then it was 64, and then I boiled it down to 62. The moment both break out together about that area, that was the confirmation from buyers that they want to take it higher, you know, maybe up to Globex high or a so and so, right? So, and we we managed that trade, right, in ES especially and in Q both. So, now there was aggressive entry there though. For NQ, yes, there was a good entry at bullish disconnect, right at the low, you know, but NQ, you couldn't take the long at 975 because of the way it was chopping around, right? So, NQ is a confirmation based entry, which is aggressive because it's a late entry, above 13,017, right? And then pullback did not happen, so it has to be aggressive entry, or you wait for a pullback and you miss the trade, or you do scalping on the way up, you know, few points here and there. Uh, but anyway, break below some more sellers, some more more sellers will be active and there it's a backup buyers area to decide for buyers, you know, if it breaks below these areas, you know, till then buyers have a control, you know, so break above preferred sellers area and hold equal to price will try to run towards backup sellers area, you know, price action is choppy in general, so I'm not writing a big story, but I'm sticking with the levels here, you know, Russell 1915 and all this story, right. Dream number 71 and 50, as usual, they are very powerful number, right? So, 50 and 71, right? That's the dream number, right? That's the pre-market response from here. Then price chopped around, right around yesterday's high, right of the open, there was a rejection from there. Sellers were active. I was saying in Discord that sellers had a control here until price goes back above 13,017. Till then sellers have a control 975 we were looking at it buyers were not able to sellers were not able to break below that was the sign that yes it wants to hold it at the same time es was going higher while nq was holding here es was going higher so i said in discord there is no point shorting it here because i was doing scalping you know i did scalp from here to here and in, on the short side i did a six trades actually on the short side 60 point I got it you know like four shorts here and one or two longs here so something like that so in this entire move I got 60 point out of it you know but anyway so uh, so then I stopped shorting it here you know after this point because ES was going higher right now at the same time I was describing that ES has a strong bullish disconnect you know it's a gap fill bullish disconnect if someone wants to go long they can go long here it's a good location uh, but since I was busy with NQ and because of NQ I didn't want to take this one but if you are only following yes this was a good long and then I said 50% you take a profit at 53 this area you know 52 53 this area rest 50% I said you hold it and then when it reached here I said you can take 20 30% off and rest you can hold it stop below 53 you know and then I said target 89 which is this area and here I said either take 100% off or 10% and then just hold it when price was here in discord I said now it has to pull back 70 is a good location for a pullback here in NQ at the same time I said 41 it should pull back to 41 and then we'll see you know so 41 it to the dot it pull back this one it pull back and then by stepped in right so that was another confirmation that it pulled back and it held this area on the way up the moment it took out this dim number you can go long targeting 89 and then you bail out you know that's the only thing you can do you know because it's an aggressive price so you can only do scalp at that point there is no point like going long full blown here 
and then hold it, you know, assuming that it's going to skyrocket. It's not going to happen, you know, because of tomorrow's uh, Pobel speech. So here, same thing you can do, you know, scalping, because it's an aggressive entry, right? So you have to manage it accordingly. See, here it was a good entry. And Q, here I put a different arrow, because it was an aggressive entry, right? If you want to take it, or you wait for a pullback, which never happened. It happened at the late in the day, you know, but by the time the day was screwed up, because if price wires were so strong, price should not have even come down here, you know. It should have like touched here and then gone higher, go higher, right? But the moment it came down here all the way, that means the day your day, your day is screwed up, you know. That means both sides will be active now, ping pong game, you know. So you can trade ping pong if you want to, level to level, right? Otherwise you step aside, you know. And then just watch, unless you see something, right? So ES, that was the only valid trade. NQ, there was no valid trade, you know, unless you want to defend 975, you know, but, you know, considering morning shorts from yesterday's highs, AD going down, I didn't want to trade NQ, NQ is deadly, you know, so I rather do ES if I want to, you know, but NQ at that time going long here was not a good idea, the way it was doing back and forth, you know, so when it came down here, right, now it's a day screwed up, so you watch, right, so when it, it was balancing here, right, you are watching it, assume you are watching it, right, so it was balancing, balancing, right, balancing, 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 right, then it broke out about this balance, right, so now you know that buyers held this yesterday's high area on two attempts, right, so at least you know that they have a control, then they had a breakout about this area, correct. Then what happened? Then price went to 89 again, right? And then got rejection. So now you know it's a ping pong going on. But here there is a story here within the ping pong. When it came down here, it should have gone down then, right? But it held about this balance. See that? This balance. It held it here, right? Then it tried to go higher. See, at this time, you know most likely it's going to break out. Because it had built two balances. And it actually held these balances here. See that? Now it's going to break out. So here, see that? This line, 78 area, it broke out, right? Right here. And then slight pullback, going up, you go long, right here. Here, same thing, you know? See, this was a valid trade, but aggressive because, you know, you're taking at the closing time, right? But, you know, that was the valid trade, you know, based on this reading. You know? Not here, not here. See here it can go down too, right? So here there is no trade, but once you see it's held, and then it go how go higher, right? Here you can even here take the trade, right here, you know, or right at the breakout time, right? Or well, you can wait for a confirmation, you know. So those were the trades, right? So now, M box wave, right? I'm not going to do M box wave because of this choppy nature, because I knew the day is going to be choppier, you know. So there is no point looking at M box wave that's why i'm not doing M box wave videos because i know i wouldn't even try if i try to find a signal i wouldn't even find it you know so but i can show you if you want to see it okay so here is M box wave right so now let's look at it of the open see is there any signal so down 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 of the open it went down 463 supply you know 404 supply is increasing right this is like you know liquidation kind you know the supply here right uh, or selling i would say right and then suddenly price they went higher right 181 here and then pull back and then it just straight up right so there was technically there was no entry here you know you can't just go with the flow i usually don't go with the flow unless unless see this i can make the case for this pullback right here right but then it was not a valid information considering this you can say it's effort no result right but that effort no result comes after you see this move not at this point see look at this see always it looks good after the fact right but when in real time it is happening you can see here like this right so here down and then by looking at this you can say now it's effort no result because it took out this right but then look at that, this entire rise action right above it. Now you want to go long here, right? So that is the question and I usually don't like if price goes higher and then pull back and then I see a double algo or something, single algo or something, right? Good demand and then pull back, then I may go long, you know, on the way up. 
after this you know after this there is a pullback or something otherwise I would not go long here right so let's see what happens see there is no pullback that means there is no long you know it's aggressive price right yes you can fade it here right you can go long here you know based on this you know but you know it's, it's too aggressive price you know and then then it pulled back right but then look at 188 right 77 6 and then you can see I'll go and then you have another up thrust right so now let's say you want to go long aggressively here see this is too aggressive price you know and then you can see it see that you barely got few points out of it and then it reversed see my point so that's why it's not worth it you know uh, let's watch NQ see NQ so NQ also same story right looks like it to 16 368 see yeah, okay so now 45 right so NQ has a good story then better than ES you know so look at this you can make a case here 45 right then uh, look at this divergence right and then <coughs> look at this it's way greater than this yes that was not the case right look at the flip also happened here right and this also superseded this area also right so at this point see here NQ see NQ had a good case here it has a tight balance here see that now it broke out right so NQ you can make a case right here because that was my reading to 13,017 level you know uh, if you if you watch the previous part of this video so this was a good case right so NQ it moves it's a trending instrument you know so NQ you can make a case and it was a better case than ES so here you can go long you know uh, with NQ because if you even go long here and if price at least go back to here you can get at least 50 point out of it you know 30 40 points out of it this things you know so you're managing it right and then look at this triple algo right and then this correct so here you can go low stop here and you can try see NQ you can always try you know in some cases but but then you know ES was not a good case NQ this was a good case you know still I don't like it I like it like price to pull back somewhere here you know and then up so it's aggressive but you can make a case based on this story you know? and that be all for today